Hi everyone, it's Peggy Merwin with Stamp with Peggy. Today is Monday, April 17th. We are halfway through this month. The weather doesn't know whether it's spring, summer, winter. We've had everything in the last week. Hi Roseanne, thanks for joining. Um, weekend was like 80 degrees on Saturday and then snow flurries yesterday, snow today. Hi Jackie. Um, so hopefully everybody had a great weekend. <clears throat> Let me know if you did some stamping. Hi, Nicole. Um, let's see. We had a busy weekend. We had Tony pick the camper up Friday. So we are ready to, well, not quite, but it's in the driveway now. It's out of storage. So we can start doing some camping trips. And then Saturday we went up to Door County or just south of Door County to Algoma to Von Steele Winery. They had a brand new event that they've never done before called Opening the Vault. So we got to go downstairs with all the barrels of wine that are down there just doing their thing. Hi, Jody. Um, so we got to do a special tasting of six fabulous wines and then we went up to Sturgeon Bay and stayed overnight and then back down to my brother-in-law's and had kind of a late Easter celebration with my husband's side of the family. All right, and again, I have to do this to kind of read. So let me know what you did this weekend. I am going to try to get myself up here so I can try to follow comments a little bit. Um, Annie says no stamping this weekend. Was in, in Ohio visiting her sister? Well, yay, that's just as much fun as stamping. I agree. Um, I am on baby alert right now. My niece is at the hospital. Hopefully, I, I'm really hoping for tonight that it's a very easy delivery for her. My sister will be a Mimi for the first time. So it's very exciting. We have a little girl coming and, you know, she's not mine, but she's still mine. I'll be a great aunt again. And I'm very excited to hear all about it and hear the baby's name and that my niece is doing fabulous. Um, okay, yes, Roseanne had a wonderful weekend with her daughters. The picture just looked wonderful. And then I said, so what did you do? And she did lots of little things. Um, okay, well, let's see. We've got a few others and somebody can't find me. Um, pop messages to anybody you know. Tell them, come join us live. Um, hi, Donna. Ruth's here. Okay, great. So, we are, let's see, we have two weeks left of the current annual catalog, the last chance list, and the um, last chance of the spring mini catalog. So there are still lots of things available. There are lots of things sold out. So you definitely want to get in on some of those last minute things to tease a little more or incentivize you a little bit more. Stampin' Up! is offering, I just found this out about a half an hour ago, Stampin' Up! is offering a free shipping day on Wednesday, so the 19th, on any order $75 or more. So it's a great time. Number one, if you don't have the mini um, cut and emboss machine, do that and something else and get free shipping on it. It's a great deal. Hi, Nancy, you found me. Um, lots of designer papers available yet, card stocks available, get those ink refills on things that are going away or just the other ones that you need. Um, okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to play with the in colors, the new incoming, upcoming in colors. Um, I will be offering an in color club and I've had a couple of you ask me about that. I kind of got the details worked out, but I don't have it all put together yet. So I will be doing that. Hopefully yet tonight I can get that finished and share that out there. Host code is still the same, which when I put the camera down, Linda will show that. So yes, I'm still on the same host code, CF7PVVGJ. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get you turned down here. Um, I also want to remind you, number one, to love, share, like, tag, let everybody know um, that we are live tonight and they should be checking us out, right? Okay, so first I wanted to remind you about this month's Card Sketch Challenge. 
This is the layout I showed you last week. This is another card that we made at my card club last week. So it's the two pieces, the longer piece, kind of a stamped element right there. Okay, so just wanted to show you yet another sample of that. If you have not yet, you do want to get in there and do that. Reminder that I give away at least one $25 shopping spree. Sometimes if there are enough entrants, then I um, will give away another prize or two. Last month, I think we were up to 14 people participating. So I would really, really, really love to hit 20 uh, people that are trying to do this card sketch. Love, love, love it. Okay, we are going to play with the new in colors. And we have Moody Mauve, Boho Blue, um, Pebbled Path, Copper Clay, and Wild Wheat. Okay, hi, Sandy. Um, so we have the cardstock. We have the stamp pads. Okay, we have designer papers. And I didn't bring over the bolts with me, but we have ribbons. We have embellishments all in the in colors, okay? So I am putting together a club, and you're going to have two different options. I am going to do one club where you can spread the cost out over five months. Um, it's And I don't even want to tell you roughly what the cost was because I'm still kind of playing with things so that you can get like the basic things to start with. And then you can always add other things onto your club orders and monthly offerings and things at that point, okay? So you're going to get the card stocks. You're going to get the stamp pads. You're going to get the Stampin' Blends. Um, you're going to get designer paper that's going to be split up, and you're going to get a color each month. Um, and then there'll be some other surprises and things. So keep an eye out. I will get that all put together with a final monthly price. But then I'm also doing one option where you can get a good sampling of all of the products. I am not doing refills in this year's In Color. I figure that's an easy add-on for an order when you need a little bit more. You can throw that on, okay? Um, hi, Sheila. Thanks for joining Okay, Sandy's doing better, but still in the hospital. Everybody say a fast prayer for Sandy. She has had one heck of a 2023. She's been in and out of the hospital on steroid IVs and antibiotics. And so we just want her to be healthy. Okay, the designer paper, one side is polka dots. One side is wide stripes. Okay, then there's another grouping that has kind of the hash marks. I showed you these last week. And then hearts on the other side, okay? So I decided on these cards, I wanted to use the polka dots and I needed an embossing folder. So I decided to use the Basics 3D embossing folder. This one, there's three in a pack. One is kind of a hashtag, this one is polka dots. So it coordinates well with the designer paper. Um, I am using the Share a Milkshake stamp set, which is carrying over. It's currently in the spring catalog, and it is carrying over into the annual catalog. So we're still able to use this. Okay, so I'm making one card from each designer or each in color. Okay, so we have the polka dot paper. That is one and a half chicken pox. No, it's not chicken pox. The paper is one and a half inches by five and a quarter. And I've put it on an embossed piece that is four inches by five and a quarter. Okay, before we glue it down, we're going to use some of the ribbon. And we're going to put that onto right over the top of the designer paper. So first, I'm just going to put adhesive across the top and bottom. And I'm going to take, I don't know, it's about a six seven inch right over the seam so it covers that up hi Suzanne thanks for joining tonight okay and then we are going to Sandy shame on you we're going to adhere it right onto our card base this one is moody mauve okay and we're putting it on a moody mauve card base 
very sweet and simple. Part of my In Color Club is every month you will get some card kits to be able to assemble. Um, again, kind of very sweet and simple. Okay, then I have like a four inch piece of ribbon. We're going to just tie that into our little cheater knot. And we're going to trim it up so that it's a little more even than that. Okay. And then I took the brand new two and three eighths inch circle punch and I punched basic white. Okay, so we're going to start with that. I've got Moody Mauve, so I want to use Moody Mauve here. And I am going to, and I need to clean because I just did one card in Pebbled Path. So I need to make sure my pieces are nice and clean. If you guys don't have yet, Add a Simply Chamois to your order. Oh, Linda, here is the host code. This is what we're using this month, okay? So make sure that you do use that. I will have, I believe I'm going to put together kind of a quick and easy card kit for everyone who places an order on Wednesday. Okay, we're using the Moody Mauve, and I'm going to just stamp off on my scratch first because this stuff is all brand new, so it's still kind of, Oh, I don't know. I want to say a little watery, a little foamy. Okay, so I'm stamping the bowl for the ice cream. And we're going to stamp celebrate because we all want a bowl of ice cream for our birthday, right? Okay, and I stamped the words in the same thing. Now on this particular one, I think we need some chocolate ice cream or coffee ice cream. Coffee ice cream is my favorite. Okay, so we're going to get our little scoop of ice cream. And we're just going to line that right up there. And we have a bowl of chocolate ice cream. Okay, we're going to add that onto our card with dimensionals, of course. Okay, one, two, three. It's very juicy. And it's because it's so juicy, it's kind of almost like a little foamy. So I kind of been leaving them open a little bit until they can dry out just a little bit. So always practice stamp a little bit first. Coffee ice cream from Howard Johnson's. Well, I've never had it from there. Um, okay. And I forgot to grab, but you're going to want to put a basic white piece inside. You could stamp another little bowl of ice cream. But now let's pull in our embellishments, our in-color embellishments. So we have some in every color, right? So let's go ahead and add a couple of little ones around, oops, right on my fingernail because I forgot to bring my pick tool over. Okay, got to go grab that. Oh, you guys, there's some new accessories coming for the pick tool that are so cool looking. I can't wait to get them. Um, Linda, you're not old. You're younger than I am. So that must mean I'm older than dirt, right? Okay, come on. Sometimes they stick down so well, they just don't want to even pop up. And I don't do well with that. Oh, my goodness gracious gonna make me look like a fool tonight huh then how about if we take one of the medium sized ones and put it right on there so it's kind of like a cherry not a fan of coffee anything Cheryl the next one or one of the next ones is going to be like a mint ice cream love it okay so very sweet and simple I did one already in pebbled path and I used melon mambo so we have like a raspberry sorbet ice cream so let's add a couple of our little dots on there. And this time we'll just do it like that. Okay, fun, fun. All right, let's keep going. This time we have our copper clay. Okay, and I've put the designer paper on already. A little bit crooked, I see. Hmm, okay, but we are going to trim that bottom edge even. Okay, so just trim that off. Then we are going to take a piece of our new copper clay ribbon. 
and we're going to get our adhesive on there. We're going to wrap our ribbon over the ends. Again, no reason to waste and put ribbon all the way behind it. Oh, Linda, you got to get the in colors. They are really cool, and I will make them grow on you. I promise that. The ribbons are really nice. Um, they're great for just kind of across. They're a little thick yet for some bows, but I haven't used them a lot, so we will get used to that too. Hi, Jeanne. Thanks for joining. Okay, so we're going to put that one on the front, and then we're going to take our roughly four-inch piece of ribbon, and we're going to tie that one. What I really like like this, it really shows how cool the in colors are when we put them all together. There you go, Pam. Thank you. Somebody else who's loving these new in colors. Um, they are not as bright, but I will be honest, I'm not a super bright person. Um, so I like the kind of muted shades. They're a little bit of fall there. Um, I just really like them. Okay, we're going to do copper clay. So I think this one is maybe the one that we will, let's make sure we're cleaned off. We'll do some mint or kind of sort of mint ice cream on. Okay, so we're going to get our little bowl that's copper clay and kind of watch throughout. They stamp it first and you go, oh, that's not what I thought. And then as it dries, it lightens up and it's really cool. Okay, let's close this one up and let's get, and I'm trying Granny Apple Green. Okay, we're going to see how well that is for mint ice cream. All right, we need to clean this off because I got a weird color there. Strawberry ice cream. Okay, and that's kind of what I tried with the raspberry-ish. I think we will stamp off or maybe I need to go get the sweet sorbet and try that. Okay, I think that will work. Looks like that one needs to be re-inked a little bit. Okay, and we're just going to add that. There we go. We got some mint. Hmm, I'm kind of wondering how. All right, hang on here. Let's... I'm grabbing one of the... Um, natural Tones Blends. This is the SU100. And let's see about... Oh, yeah. Let's give it some chocolate chip so we can have some mint chocolate chip. Not just lime, right? We're just going to add some chocolate chips there by just dotting and coloring in some of those little white lines. Love it. have to color those white dots black. There we go. We got some chocolate going. Okay, now let's go ahead and add this with our dimensionals. One, two, three. Look at how fast we're making cards, right? I know. Cheryl, maybe we should go over to Dairy Queen. I don't know that they have mint chocolate chip, but I guess we could have a stamp class over at Baskin Robbins, huh? That could be fun. We've not done that before, have we? All right, so let's add a couple of the copper clay. And let's give it another bigger one right there. Yeah. Ice cream would be really good. I thought about it today. I had to go out and pick my taxes up, and I'm like, ooh, a trip over to Dairy Queen. That would be good. We might have to do that. I might have to talk to the managers over at the Baskin Robbins and do a little summer fun over there, huh? Okay, now we're using the wild wheat. And I told you, this is one that this color is definitely growing on me. Um, when I first saw it, it was like, ew, yuck. But it's a really cool color for fall type things. Um, the coordination with some of the others. Uh, it's part of what I want to do is to kind of pull. Stampin' Up! has created some, uh, what do I want to call them? Color sheets, kind of cheat sheets that'll show you the color and some coordinating colors. 
So I want to try to get those printed off. It's just been a little bit crazy. What new bakery has, who just said, the new bakery has ice cream and pastries. Where's the new bakery? Somebody fill me in. We got to check that out. Is that the little place on the side of the square? They've got like little ice cream tables and things. We got some places we got to go check out. Um, those of you down in the Algonquin kind of area, I'm checking with a facility right now about possibly doing like a monthly class down there. So I will let everybody know once we get that worked out if we can do that. It'll be a closer location. Okay, now let's pull in. Let's see, what color ice cream do we want to do this time? Okay, Cheryl, that's where I thought, the one where Sugar Circle was. Um, that's another good one. It's like, ooh. Yeah. Um, Jackie, I think you're going to find that there's going to be some definite things that we're going to do with this color um, when you first look at it. And it's kind of, and I apologize, but it's kind of a baby poop color. <laughs> um, but I think it's going to work really well for some things. So I'm kind of excited to play with it. All right, let's get that one in here. It's going to be a little weird. Okay, so we're going to stamp our celebrate. Again, what, what should we do for ice cream? Pea soup, yeah, exactly. Maybe that's what I need to do is kind of find some fall warm, comforting soup type things. We could do a packaging class with some single soup and use this color for it. Okay. All right. Colleen, what kind of ice cream do we want this time? I don't see anything. All right. We're going to bring in the red. Or the melon mambo, I should say. But I think we are going to... I can't do vanilla. Polished pink. Well, that's leaving, so that's out of my colors now. Okay, we're going to go with a light Melon Mambo, which will give us kind of sort of a polished pink. Oh, there we go. That looks pretty good, don't you think? Rasbur raspberry Sherbert. Okay, let's get our dimensionals. Okay, then we're down to one left. Oops, that didn't want to pull. Okay. Oops, let's get this over here. See, that's kind of cute. Okay, let's get our little embellishment deals in here. How about, should we put some sprinkles on this one? One up there and one down here. So we have some little sprinkles on our raspberry. Okay, so there's the fourth one, and now we're on our final with the Boho Blue, which is my favorite. Okay, so again, we're going to put our ribbon on. Um, then we can get everybody, you know, in the In Color Club, everybody can get a sampling of the ribbon. Um, I decided this year I'm not going to go with, like, full rolls of the ribbon, because that takes a lot to use that up. And I want you to be able to do a whole variety of different things. So I'm trying to keep the price range so that it's still doable along with everything else that we want to do. But this first one will be a real short time frame for sign up because the first orders can be placed on May 2nd. And I want to get in there and get those things ordered before they go on back order. Okay. All right, so now we're going to pull in, and I want my boho blue, and we need to clean those stamps off again. Okay, what color ice cream should we do this time? This might be a chocolate one again, right? Maybe we can even stack them. I don't know if I can get that or not without going and grabbing stuff to mask it off. Okay, we're going to give a... Boho Blue Celebrate and a Boho Blue Ice Cream Bowl. Let's see. Oh, blue. well, blueberry's going to blend right in, though, Linda, if I do that. 
I think I'm kind of going with Roseanne's chocolate. Do we have some others down here? Love boho blue. It is such a pretty color. Okay. Sorry. Going with chocolate. Blue raspberry. Yum. Okay. We're going to go with a lighter. We're going to stamp it off a little bit. And then, yeah, I like that. Like, like, like it. Okay. Let's get these in here. And then we'll get our final embellishments on. And then we'll spread them all out and see how pretty they are. Okay, let's get that out of the way. Let's get that out of the way and that out of the way. Okay. So again, remember, that's our host code for this month. Um, I will do, for anybody placing an order, again, your order on Wednesday has to be $75 to get the free shipping, but then I will have a little gift that I will get to you, um, mail, or if it's somebody that I see, I will get it to you at class, okay? So there's the fifth one. Now, let's get those out of the way, and let's pull back in. We're going to go one, two, three four and five. And are they, here we go. Let's scoot that a little bit. Here, I'll do this so that you can still see that. And there we go. Check it out. Very, I mean, the layout, that's what's really cool and fun, you guys, is take your designer papers, use all different colors, but use the same layout. It's a really great way to get some quick cards that still look amazing with the, um, Embossing folders, all different ones, you know, it's like, how cool is that, okay? So, don't forget to get your card sketch card made and posted, and then keep an eye out for my In Color Club, which will begin on May 2nd, so I will have that done either today or tomorrow, and get that sent out, get it posted here so that you know what the prices and everything are. Um, and hopefully you can join me for that. For now, you guys have a fabulous week. And let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything special that you want to see next week. It'll be our final week together for the current catalog. So, you know, we'll kind of poke our way through and see what kind of things we can find there. And bye, Sandy. You take care of yourself. We're all praying for you. Okay, you guys, have a fabulous week, and I will see you next Monday. Bye.